Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Flipkart SD2 interview experience. So recently I appeared for a Flipkart SD2 uh, interview and uh, luckily I was able to clear it. So in this video, I'll be uh, sharing my knowledge and also sharing how, how did I apply and all the resources that I used and how was the interview experience. I will not be able to leave like uh, reveal all the questions, but I can uh, guide through what topics did I study and what topics did help me, right? Uh, so now this is so let's get started without wasting any time, right? So this is clueless me, right? I had no idea, right? I've been doing DSA from uh, like three to four years, right? And the experience at that time when I appeared for this was three o u o e. So I had three years of experience and uh, so how did I apply, right? So to apply, there is a website or application called Naukri. So I made a profile on Naukri and updated all the details and I used to frequently check uh, Naukri and there is like a applies invite that you get. I applied on that and I also did apply via career portal, right? But uh, the recruiter did get uh, my number from Naukri, right? So that is more important. So this this was important. So this was more important. Now once I apply, uh, got a call via Naukri, then I asked, then the recruiter asked me to schedule the rounds. The first round was DSA round. And in this DSA round, there were two problems. One was based on graph, right? It was taken by SD2 only. Uh, one was based on a graph. Uh, it it would I would say it medium to hard only, and then the second one was uh, based on the second one was based on trees. So there was like a brute force version was kind of easier of this, but then the optimal version that interview asked was kind of uh, hard. You can say interview was helpful in this right, and I was able to solve both of these problems. Uh, with working code solved both with working code now coming to the resources of this right like if there there is a resource uh, need code right 150 if you have solved 150 and you know all the patterns behind it right then you should be able to solve both of these problems so that is the idea behind this right now feel free to let me know in comments if you need more guidance on this, right? If you need more um, help on this, like what TSA problems to target and whatnot, I'll, I'll reply in comments. But that was the main gist that if you have solved these 150 and then you should participate in lead code contests also. Lead code contests, right? So this will help you to improve speed. Improve speed. So that is the idea of that. Now this is the resources for this, right? Uh, for specifically for doing the DSA, right? This helped me to do this. I have lead code contest dating close to 2000 now. So that, that kind of helped me to code these both in a quick speed, right? Now the next round, so I had good results. So in DSA, you know whether you have passed or no, right? So as I was able to solve, I was expecting that the next uh, thing is going to be machine coding, right? So then in the machine coding, so generally this is of two to three hours in specifically in Flipkart. And then you have to, uh, so there is a problem statement, customized LLD problem statement, right? And working code is expected. So, uh, so I, I coded for two to three hours and I wrote around 300 lines of code, right? I used Java, used Java and then uh, I had working code, right? And if you guys have any code on this machine coding, right? Uh, you can check my other video. Like I have a LLD series also, which I'll be solving all the LLD uh, interviews, both from a class diagram perspective and also from the working code perspective, right? So I, I the working code was expected and then the use of design patterns, solid principles, uh, error handling, right? 
these all were respected. Like there were some quite so as the problem statement is generally big, right? The one page problem statement is given, right? It could be some existing system or some system that Flipkart wants you to design, right? It could be uh, application like Book My Show, similar to Book My Show, or similar to uh, Cult Fitness app, right? All of these it could be, right? Now in this. Again, I won't be able to reveal the problem, but if you have good practice on LLD concepts and I use Java, if you use any object oriented programming and then you have good speed in this, right? Then you'll be able to uh, solve this one. So uh, how did I practice? I, I was solving these problems, all the different problems and then, uh, but my solution, it had some bugs. It was not 100%. So I would say the rating of this was kind of eight out of 10, right? And this was, I would say, 10 out of 10. That was the rating that I got, right? So this like seven because the interviewer was also very judgy. Like, like in in two to three hours, what I have done, I feel was a good job, but still, right? So I I got a positive. I'll say like seven to eight. Not not really sure, but I was able to move to the next round, right? So that was uh, the next thing in this one. Uh, now coming to the next. A design round. So in this design round, uh, again, uh, so this is like of use the same color. This is of like 60 minutes, right? And then HLD is expected, right? With some LLD. It depends on your interviewer, basically. I'm not saying that everyone demands this, but it depends on your interviewer. Now you can clarify that. So I started with HLD, right? And if you need HLD resource, so Alex, who's system design volume one, right? I use that. And if you have solved all the problems of this, right? And have practiced this, you should be able to tackle this problem also, whatever the problem was asked, right? So, and I, I, I think I nailed this round. If you have to give, I have myself have to give the rating. I performed really well and I covered all the concepts of the problem. So, um, one problem statement of existing system or new system, right? So it could be generally it is existing system, right? And uh, now once you have done that, so then there could be little bit of, uh, little bit of code from LLD perspective, right? So I was asked to uh, code one of the design pattern, one of the design pattern, right? So that was because I named it, right? If you say it, if, so one thing to be here, if you are saying something, make sure that you know how to code that part, right? For example, if let's say I say that, okay, there is a strategy pattern involved. I should be able to code that out also. If you don't know the code, then you don't don't call it out, right? I generally follow this practice. If I know something, I call it out, and then um, there could be a chance that interviewer will ask me, okay, uh, code code that part now, right? And I already know that, so that kind of helps you if you know that. Uh, now then, uh, coming to the next part of it. Uh, So we'll use blue color. Uh, now hiring manager again, 60 minutes. It was with uh, director of engineering. Uh, with, and this one was with uh, senior SD, I think. Like SD3. <clears throat> Now coming to this, uh, it was with director of engineering and the questions were are like generally all the behavior questions, right? Uh, behavioral questions, like you, we have to use star pattern, right? Situation, a task, action and results, right? And then um, knowledge on resume, what good things that you worked on, some generic questions around it, right? So you have to be uh, prepared on your resume and also general behavioral things on this one. 
for this one resources it's like you can go see the various resources on how to pass behavior i did not follow any specific i just went through my resume and also i've given a lot of plenty of interviews uh, so i was kind of already prepared for this round right and uh, so that was this one and after this round uh, so this is happy me right so this was clueless me uh, and then once you have cleared it everyone is happy right so recruiter came to know came came to me that okay i have passed the round and uh, um, i have cleared then they would be willing to uh, roll out an offer to me right for sd2 position so uh, my package if i have to say the offer that i got right so the ctc as i mentioned in the thumbnail also right ctc is not what you get annually that's one of the ctc is not equal to annual pay right so there is a different between ctc ctc and lpa are different right ctc is cost to company that's like everything in your package but to give a rough range uh, of the overall ctc including esops uh, was close to uh, 45 including esops right but uh, these are uh, like including esops uh, but these are like spread across annually uh, like four years i think vesting period so to give uh, the range right uh, like lpa lpa was like roughly around I'll, i can't reveal the exact number so the range was around 28 to 26 i think 26 to 29 this was the base uh, plus like i think 10 percent was the bonus on top of it right so 10 percent bonus and then around 15 uh, lakhs of uh, esops right so that was the number that i was offered so uh, yeah this was uh, uh, my cut sd2 interview experience and uh, i hope this was helpful and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching the video i'll be creating more such experience uh, if you like the video please feel free to like and subscribe it's up to you guys if you like it and also please feel free to suggest in comments uh, i'm new to youtube so feel free to give your suggestions as well uh, thank you so much and uh, all the best for your career and keep working hard. Um, thank you.